Hi everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. It's time to take a look at our week ahead. So, what do we have going on this week, the last week of September into the first uh, couple days of October? Let's take a look at this. I want to shuffle up the cards and we'll get started. Okay, sometimes I get messages as I'm tuning into the week and as I was setting this video up, before I've even finished doing my tuning in, I feel like I'm being drawn to a scene in my mind. So I'll tell you what I'm seeing for this coming week. Um, I do think that the La Palma volcano is going to be a little more in the news this week. Uh, here's what I wrote down. Um, well, what I saw in my mind first was a helicopter um, <clears throat> I saw people standing afar off and watching the the volcano erupt. I'm seeing the, like the lava kind of spewing and there's people that are watching and then I see a helicopter coming in. So I don't know if if maybe some people get cut off with the lava flows and maybe they need some help getting out or maybe there's some helicopters that come and help people or maybe it's just tourists looking around and watching um i didn't sense like urgency with that like a rescue i wasn't sure if that's what i was seeing um but i do see the alert level um a little bit raised or a little bit of concern or what i'm sensing is the activity around that volcano is gonna amp up a little bit more than it's been um, so I saw, here's what I wrote down, alert level raised, uh, rumblings, booms, I heard like some, like more rumblings, more louder booms, um, the helicopter possibly picking people up, and the smell of sulfur, I was getting that also, intensifying this week, possible evacuations, they may, you know, say, okay, people on this side, uh, we're gonna need you to kind of, you know, maybe it's time to get you guys moving out of here. So they may be moving, expanding the area of evacuations, possibly. I did see that this kind of new rumblings, uh, the, the volcano is just going to continue to be active this week and it's gonna cause um, some concern. I saw people like getting in boats, like just taking to boats and just being out. Like they just wanna, I don't know if they're going out to get away from everything or just to get a better view. But I just see people getting on boats, getting out a ways. And I also saw like airplanes. So, um, and people getting on airplanes. So I think that there may be some people say, you know what, uh, maybe it's time to fly to Portugal, Spain, uh, wherever we're from originally, or maybe we have family over that way. It's Maybe it's time to kind of leave the island. I think it's gonna, the activity is going to spook enough people that be like, you know what, I think uh, I think I'm going to take off, maybe take a vacation for a couple weeks. That's kind of what I'm saying, seeing airplanes. Um, I did write down there is reason for concern. This is not just people being overly cautious. Okay, so the thing is, if um, it's basically listen to your tug. Okay, um, if you... If you live on La Palma, or if you know of somebody who does, just listen to your tug. And if you feel like, you know what, I need to go here, or move here, or leave for a while, just follow your tug. That's the main message I want to get across. Oh, okay, so I did also ask, because there's been a lot of prophecies about the La Palma Island, people seeing the mountain shelf sliding into the sea and causing a tsunami to head straight for the east coast of the United States. Um, I didn't really see that for this week, uh, but I did just see the volcano kind of amping up and people getting a little more concerned about it. Um, but I, I don't I don't see that tsunami thing happening this, this week. Not that it couldn't, but um, I just, Anyway, that's what I saw. The volcano is getting a little more antsy. So I shuffled up the cards and here's what I see coming up for this week ahead. Um, in the news, we have the death card, which is card of powerful change, transformation, uh, kind of rocking your world, like changing. So on the world front, I've got the Knight of Cups, which to me is like offerings, deals, truces, conciliatory uh, sides coming together and 
listening to so we've had a lot going on around the world in different areas of fighting and upheaval and there seems to be some type of conciliatory energy coming in where maybe sides are being heard enough to where the fighting and all of the unrest that we've been seeing there's a little bit of an energy of an offer being made and perhaps sides coming together which would be kind of a welcome thing after what we've been seeing um especially in places you know where they've been having unrest in europe and especially in australia australia has kind of been on my mind a lot with this um but i see some type and i don't know if this is australia i'm seeing this more europe but i'm seeing like a, a, a an agreement being reached or some type of truce for lack of a better term truce um now what we see is the sun card i've got the sun on that sun is a very positive card and this to me when i'm seeing this what comes to mind for me is transparency i'm just seeing this sun as like shining light and things being transparent and i think this this truce card this knight of cups is looking right into the sun card that transparency that i'm sensing so i do think that there's going to be some type of deal being reached and it's going to cause some transparency or some openness around what's been happening maybe sides are finally getting along or finally being heard okay all right i'm also hearing something about i'm seeing something with uh perhaps people amping up a little bit wanting to storm into like a parliament or something that gets their message heard okay they really wanting to have some type of truce or agreement made okay um all right so what is the underlying influence now it, tower the card of destruction and cataclysm so that's an underlying influence this week. So we could be playing with some volatile energies on the world stage, perhaps for the United States, but that's a really heavy energy kind of underpinning everything. So there's a lot of unrest in terms of how the energies are playing out. And these energies are bubbling up to the surface. We have the sun. So the sun, again, brings transparency, brings light, but sometimes when the sun comes out and exposes things that can be volatile and that's what I sense a lot of volatility with it what gives us hope is this card and this is telling us that this is a card of endings so this volatile energy it's sitting right next to that tower tells me that that's what gives us hope is that eventually this is going to come to an end these energies that are difficult challenging um, destructive that eventually it's coming to an end what is the lesson to take away for this week we have the knight of swords on that this is a card of taking action knowing when to take action knowing when it's time to get off the sidelines and let your voice be heard there's a season for everything as we know and this Knight of Swords, a card of taking action, facing right back into this tower and the card of endings. So it's knowing when to step in and take appropriate action. And that I think is up to each individual to know, to trust their intuition enough to know when is, when is the right time to strike while the iron's hot, to know when to act, what action to take, that's up to each person individually to know what is right for them. But that's our lesson. That's what we're learning is how to, to bring this cataclysm energy to an end. What is my role and how do I fit into the whole big picture? And the last card is the outcome for this week. I've got the emperor. Now the emperor is a card of control, authority, bringing things back into a 
control. I got the the word rigid with it. So I guess it's up to how how we each perceive our week ahead and our role in how we are acting in terms of taking action. But it's all about kind of establishing order out of chaos. And that's what this card is bringing, is the chaos element of it. But sometimes the emperor energy can be a little too rigid and too confining. But there may be some sort of like a power structure or power and control trying to assert itself in the midst of chaos. So we could be seeing the... These opposite energies playing with each other this week. This energy of destruction, this energy of trying to get a handle on things. And these kind of caught in the middle, knowing it's coming to an end. What's my role? How do I fit into this grand scheme of things? What's my, what, what's my role? What am I supposed to be doing? That's what we each need to ask ourselves this week. Underneath... I've got the Lover's card, which is a card of partnerships on a grander scale. And it's sitting right on top of this card again, which was what I had written down about offers, peace deals, truce. So we could see some energy around people wanting to put an end to the fighting. Um, it's gonna take cooperation, which is what this card also is, this Lover's card, cooperation coming together for the good of all. And it's going to take some work on all sides, but especially from these governments that are getting a little bit out of hand, that are, that are cracking down a little too hard with this emperor card. I got that rigid feeling with it. So... There's a lot of dynamics at play this week with the energies of people, of situations, and some of it is going to be beyond people's direct control, like a volcano. You can't control that. So this is all about how do you handle your response when situations present themselves that you can't control? What can you control and go with that? and base your your response on things that that are tangible that you can do and I, I just there's something about the fear also coming into play it's like there's certain things that you just can't control that's just the way life is so how do we handle our ourselves and our energies in the midst of a lot of moving energy this week so this is these are these are the energies that we'll be playing with that are going to be presenting themselves and sometimes you just have to kind of move with where things are going when things are flowing okay if you're caught in a river sometimes you have to just flow with the stream until you can get downstream a little bit and get yourself in a safer place so a lot of moving energy this week a lot of moving parts and we've got some powerful energies this week. So just stay grounded if you can, stay centered, and try not to let things throw you off center too much. What's my role? What can I control? And kind of leave the rest to God, okay? Because <laughs> it's going to be a little bit wild, I feel. All right. Okay, that's what I have for this week. Hang on, everybody. We'll get through this. All right. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.